We went in for our 20 week checkup, the big one where they do all the measuring and I won't ever forget that the doctor said they look perfect. And I was like, score. And then we went back two weeks later and um, she told us that she saw lots of fluid and uh, she was pretty sure that it was TTTS. From that moment on, we were on pins and needles, I think, until they came out. And then they sent us to Children's the next day. We instantly felt comfortable there. Both of our mothers did a lot of research after they found out we were diagnosed with TTTS. And I think every single Google search they did, the Colorado Fatal Care Center was probably one of the top hits. We just knew it was the right place to be. At the Colorado Fetal Care Center at Children's Hospital, Colorado, we are here for you and your baby. We specialize in the diagnosis and treatment of fetal anomalies. Here, the rare is common. Our team manages and treats higher volumes of these rare conditions, enabling us to deliver better care and outcomes for our patients and families. And we are at the forefront of fetal surgery research and innovation. This includes performing surgery for the most complex fetal conditions, like TTTS. It was a Thursday that we had the 22 week. The Friday we were at Colorado Fetal Care, the Sunday she had her first surgery. So it was a whirlwind of four days. Traditionally, when they have to go in to do this laser ablation, it's 21 to 24 vessels that they have to, to take care of. Tara's first surgery was over 70. A week later, I started feeling the exact same back pains that I had before the first surgery. And that's when I was like, something's not right. Whatever we did, wherever we were at in this journey, post-op, pre-op, during surgery, recovery, coming in for sonograms, everybody there made me feel good. There wasn't one moment where I felt like I was in the wrong place or that I was doubting anything that was happening. We made it two 34 weeks. It was a scheduled C-section. I went in at 10 o'clock in the morning. When they rolled me into the delivery room, people that we had grown to love, they were all there. Galan and Barrett were there because they wanted to see us through the whole process. We go in and there's all these people and I'm not feeling freaked out by any of it. I'm feeling surrounded in love and surrounded in support. We decided which baby that they took out first was gonna be named Indy um, for kind of like independent and um, Scotty was second. So they took both Indy and Scotty out. They rushed me over to be with the girls while they were taking care of Tara. And so I was just in awe of what the team was able to do. I still felt taken care of as a mom. I knew that my kids were being taken care of as brand new babies. I'm in a wheelchair and the nurses in the NICU made sure that I was situated in the right place and, and handed me the babies and they were just so little but I was coached through it every single time. I could just be. <laughs> that was a very cool moment to have both of them on my chest, knowing that like, holy cow, we just got through something really crazy. You look at them now and they're, they're just typical babies now. I mean, nobody would ever guess that they had any issues. We go to every well check and their doctor's just really impressed with their progress. What do you hope for your baby's futures? That they can choose whoever they want to be and do whatever they want to do, because <laughs> we have them. Their options are so open that wouldn't have been options if we didn't get the care that we got, so. Yeah, we're eternally grateful.